So I have something on my heart today that I wanted to share with you. I was contemplating while doing some business planning for this month. I was listening to some motivational videos and reading a couple of articles. And the topic of sales came to my mind. And I started to think about real estate and sales. And while brainstorming these topics, this topic, I realized that real estate really is not a sales-oriented industry. I mean, in some way it is. But the question to challenge you to think about is, are we really salespeople? And to set the stage for this topic, I wanted to share with you a quick personal story. When I was much younger, I used to work in Manhattan selling cosmetics at high-end department stores. During my work there, I was going to college, working part-time. Of course, I was trained by the establishment where I worked on how to sell, tips and tricks, techniques and things you should be doing in order to meet your daily quota, because that was the very important thing when you were working in retail sales is to make your daily quota. And we used certain techniques in order to upsell to the customers. And upselling means that if a lady comes to a counter and she wants to buy a cream, then your job as a salesperson is to upsell to her a cleanser, an eye cream, a lipstick, maybe something else she doesn't need. So this way she w- can walk out of the your counter with more products than she came to buy. And hence your quota for the day goes up. I think that's the same kind of a concept for other industries as well. But the goal, the main goal of the salesperson is to sell as much as possible and persuade that person to buy the product that you believe is amazing. It's like the same thing when you go into a car dealership and the minute you walk in there, they are convincing you that they have the best car for you. Once you actually find the car that you like, they're going to do everything possible in their sales technique in order to make you the best offer negotiate with you, entice you, give you all these sales techniques that will at the end make you probably make you buy the car. And let's relate this to real estate industry. First of all, it is true that that at the end of the transaction, whether it's buying or selling, there is a sale at the end of that transaction. That is the truth. And maybe that's the reason why we are called salespeople is because we buy and sell. We help people buy and sell. We don't actually buy and sell the houses ourselves. We help people buy and sell them. But let's discuss what happens before that sale happens. And there is a a tremendous amount of things we do in order to make things happen, in in order for that transaction to actually happen. So when you first meet your client and they're house shopping, you're there for them as an advisor, you're there for them as a resource, and you are guiding them on their journey. And that's when the journey starts. So really what I would call us real estate agents is really advisors. I really wouldn't call us salespeople because we're not selling anything when we first meet our clients. Same thing for the selling side. When there is a listing, we're not trying to sell that listing right away. There's a whole bunch of things that are happening before the listing goes on the market 
and then we are there to provide guidance, information, and resource to the owner. We also provide marketing to the owner and exposure, and we are there to negotiate on behalf of the owner. We are negotiating on behalf of the owner. When you go to a car dealership, there's nobody there to negotiate for you on behalf of you. It's only you and the car dealership salesperson. So this process is pretty complex and it involves a lot of trust from the client to the agent, a lot of communication, understanding, and it's a journey. And yes, the journey ends with the sale where there is a transaction and then at the end of it, you get your bonus, which is your commission. But the way I see it, we are really not salespeople. We are really more of advisors. I think the sales mentality for us was created probably a long time ago when maybe perhaps the industry was different. I don't know how it was because I was not there. And I'm trying to stay on top of things that are currently happening in this industry and this industry is changing. So I'd rather actually do my research and the current events rather than going back. But I'm sure if you talk to anybody that's been in the real estate industry 30, 40 years ago, they'll tell you it was completely different. So maybe that's why we are called salespeople and maybe that's why people hate us when we call them on the phone and knock on their doors because they think we are pesky salespeople that I just want to sell them something. And sometimes real estate agents can sound salesy. Somebody maybe came from a sales background and they were selling other things, perhaps maybe insurance, health insurance, life insurance, maybe they have a tendency to sound salesy but my mission really is in developing my my career my business and my journey uh, is to not act like a salesperson my mission is to be the advisor to be this just like an attorney is your advisor or, uh, or a doctor is your advisor my mission is to be able to sit down with that person, listen to them and get to work for them so that they can be represented in the best way possible. And at the same time, I am fulfilling my fiduciary duty because we do have this duty to our clients. When the contract, contract gets signed, we are representing them just like an attorney or a psychologist or anybody, we represent them. So I had this on my heart today. There's always something but that pops into my head, but I don't always have the time to make a video about it or a podcast, but I wanted to share this with you. Leave a comment below if you do agree with me, if you think we are not in sales or maybe you do think we are salespeople. I don't know. I mean, we can agree to disagree or disagree to agree. And there's nothing wrong with that. And thank you so much for listening and for watching and see you on my next video.